Hello guys. As we can see, as you can see, we're in a different location. It's still my room, it's just not a plain white wall anymore, you know. Welcome to my bed. That sounds so bad. Anyways guys, welcome to my bed. This is where I sleep. Um, this is also where I sit down and do nothing all day. So, a lot of you guys have been asking me how I edit my photos, what filters do I use, what apps do I use, what I use to take my photos, and I thought why not just sit down and do a video for you guys explaining all of that. Number one, what I use to take my photos on my Instagram or on my Instagram stories. Basically, anywhere I post a photo, unless it's YouTube, it's taken on my phone. Um, my phone is an iPhone 7 Plus. It's worked out really well for me so far. Usually the only downside is unless you've got good lighting, your photo isn't going to turn out very well. Number two, the apps I use all the time, no matter what, is Visco and Facetune. So that's what I use to edit basically everything. For my Insta stories, I still use Visco and Facetune. I just might use the app over to create like a cool layout or add some cool text and I know that this isn't really the editing side of things but I always use the app on them I think it's pronounced on them I'm not really sure to plan my grid so I never post a photo unless I know it's gonna fit because even though it looks like I don't really have a theme because there's just colors everywhere I always kind of try and make sure that the colors match up. So I will go through and show you guys how I actually edit a photo. This is the photo we're gonna be starting with. First thing is I'll open it up in Facetune. And the first thing I'll do is I'll go on the retouch option. I'll click on vibrance and I will just vibrant up my top, zoom in and make my earrings look a lot brighter so that they can stand out. So once I'm done making the jumper and the earring stand out, I want to go onto my eyeshadow because I'm wearing yellow eyeshadow, but I don't want to use too much vibrancy and I'll just kind of go over the top of it, a little bit under. That's so orange right now, but that's why you just kind of drop it down to about maybe 15. It's not a big difference, but it does make my eyeshadow pop without kind of looking fake, you know? Um, next step is the detail. I will zoom in. Detail my winged liner. I always, in every photo, no matter what, I'll always detail my eyelashes. I just feel like my eyelashes look so good in person. When I take a photo, I'm like, this photo does not do justice for my eyelashes. Like, we gotta fix that. Next step is still the retouch tool. We're gonna go on glow and we're gonna just use this on my hair and drop it down to 25. I don't really know. Glow is kind of something that I use sometimes, not all the time. And it's usually when my hair looks like it's lacking depth or volume or kind of shine. You know what I mean? That doesn't really make sense, but it kind of darkens my hair a little bit. Um, Next step is the smooth tool. I'll just zoom in and smooth out just this bit because I don't like how you can see my little clogged pores. Not a fan. Drop it down to like about 45. Smooth out anything that's under my eyes because I look like I'm actually dying. And then next, I feel like that's about it. I don't really use Facetune that much. The only time I ever really use Facetune is to get rid of eye bags, smooth out anything on my skin that doesn't look good, make color pop. That's probably the biggest thing I use it. And my eyelashes, my eyelashes. I have to detail my eyelashes. I feel naked if I don't. So that's mainly what I use Facetune for. So once I'm done with Facetune, I'll go onto Visco, I'll upload this photo and this is the steps that I always follow when I'm editing my photos, like no matter what. My go-to filter is C6. I 
always use C6. That's probably why my grid looks so cohesive. Like, even though it's all different colors, it still kind of matches because I always use this filter. I drop it down to five. I'll drop it down to five. I'll go into white balance. I'll make the photo a little bit colder. So I'll drop that down to 1.0, but I'll up the pink to 1.5. Once I do that, I go into grain and I put the grain up to 2.5 and I think exposure, drop it down to 0.5 and that photo is done. So that's the final look. If you see the difference, it's insane. And the best thing about Visco is, once I've got a photo that I'm really happy with, if I want to upload another photo like this one, I haven't actually edited this photo yet, all I have to do is click on this photo, go copy edit, tap on this one, go paste edit, and I've got the photo exactly how I want it. The only thing is I might adjust like the temperature or the color tone so I might just make this one a little bit more pinker so yeah so that's how I edit my Instagram photos now if I want to post something on my insta story for example I will open the app over which is really good for insta stories I actually love this app I open it up and I click the little plus button right here I click transparent and I always scroll to the iPhone option because it's got a set template for basically the size of your iPhone screen and I feel that always works best with Insta Stories. Once I've done that, I tap on image. Yep, that one. So I've got a selfie prepared. I don't like zooming in on my selfies. My face is like right at the camera. Um, so I'll tick that. So what I do usually is I click on image again and I pick a background for my photos. So I've picked a photo of, that I took when I went flower shopping. I'm gonna zoom it up quite a bit. And then I'm going to click this option right here. Put it under my photo like so. So that one is done, I press that. And now my photo is going to make it a little bit bigger, center it. There we go. So now that's done, I'm going to press that. I'm going to go save to photos. That is done. Then I'm going to go onto Instagram. And I am going to scroll up and select the photo that I've just edited. And then what I am going to do is caption this one patiently waiting for the... I don't like it when it does that. So I'm going to just keep it at that. I'm going to put this one right here. I like how it's a little bit asymmetrical. I'm going to go waiting for the sun to come out. And then I'm going to this one, this one, and I'll pop it right there. And that's exactly how I edit all my Insta stories. I use the app over and that's what it looks like. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what I do to edit all my photos. I always use Facetune first. And my ride or die app is Visco. The tools that I always use in Visco is the filter C6. I always use the grain tool and I make sure it's always at 3.5 and that C6 is always at 5.5. I use the temperature tool. I either make it warmer or cooler depending on what the original photo looks like. And then I up the tint to pink, like not super pink. I always adjust it to, to whatever the photo kind of needs. Um, yeah, so that's how I edit my photos. I hope that helped you guys and I will see you guys next week. Bye. I feel like I look like the burger thief right now. This guy. I feel like I look like him right now. How embarrassing. Also, what the hell? As if there's fan art on Ronald McDonald and the Burger Thief. Guys, someone has literally drawn, like, wow. Besides the fact that it's kind of, like, weird, it's really good. Mm -hmm.